Okay then guys, this is a live worksheet here that I've just written. I'll be putting it up on Google Play in a few days time. Um, I'll be putting, as I say, putting it up on Google Play in a few days time. If you just type in C1, C2 Maths 2012 and when you see a dog icon, that'll be one of my icons. Dog's name is Freddy. So when you see a Freddy, that'll be one of my icon, uh, one of my apps. All my apps are free, of course. So you're welcome to download any one or more of them. This was on, this one is on C1 and C2 maths exam papers for the January 2012 examination series for the Ed Excel examination board. Ed Excel. Oops. There we go. Uh, examination board and we go through the paper systematically so basically I put the questions all arranged here uh, 10 questions in here probably I think there's 11 questions here or something something like that and at the beginning of each uh, past paper this is the C1 I'll put the past paper PDF so you can download click on this and it downloads the PDF and then use the back arrow to get back to the live worksheet and then you can just scroll down from the top of the screen to access the download PDF if you prefer to work on the worksheet independently. I've also put the mark schemes up as well so you can check the allotment of marks from the examination board so they'll be here as well for both papers. Um, so basically this is the arrangement then so if you click on the question what we'll do it'll fire up a little video and the video will start off by play, reading out the question so you can pause the video at that stage, have a go at the question and then resume the video to see the video solution to the question and basically when you've clicked on a question it will tick off just to keep a track of your progress let you know how you're getting on with the worksheet and any problems you've got any problems as I say you can always give us a buzz, send us an email so there's an email, click here you can write the question out by hand if you wish append a picture to the email, send it in and I'll write up a YouTube video if I get time um, if I get time I'll send you the link uh, for the video solution. This is the user guide of course which I'm going through now. There's reset so if you want to reset row 1 or row 2 or reset all you can do that here. There'll be an array of tools here. I'll probably put implicit and uh, parametric differentiation tool here. I might put an integrated tool and maybe a plotter tool as well. Uh, there'll be apps so this will take you to recommended app and also my developer page where all my apps are uh, available for you to freely download as I say and any extras between now and the time I put this up I'll be sure to include as well so basically if you're going through a C1 or C2 examination paper there's a general procedure that's a good good practice really and good things to do first of all when you get in the exam read the paper read all the cues just quickly get an overview of the paper itself there are many benefits in doing that. The first thing is you familiarize yourself with the paper, the entire paper at the outset. So it enables your mind to subconsciously work on the questions even if you're not working on that specific question at that particular time. But when you come to it, you'll hopefully have already done some uh, thinking about the question subconsciously so that it might save some use, some valuable time in the exam. Also, when you look through the questions, you can select the questions you'd like to get do to begin with and tick off the ones you've done to start with so you get off to the best possible start and it's always good to do that something you feel comfortable with a straightforward question that would be a good question to select to do at the beginning of course when you finish all the questions there are questions that have show this or show that well they don't need double checking but there are other questions which will need double checking so if you finish a little early then always go through the paper and double check the questions that that require double checking and when you've done all the double checking that's needed then triple check in other words don't waste a minute you cut every last possible mark you can from the examination it's only one and a half hours long it isn't long and you want to get as best a uh, possible mark as you can for all the hard work that you've done so it just remains for, for me to wish you all the best guys with the exam if you've got a C1 or a C2 in the near future I hope it goes well and I hope these uh, live worksheets are of some use and hope to catch you again in another revision session. Cheers.